Welcome to my video on some basics of soldering. I'm going to introduce you to the real fundamentals of how to solder a resistor onto a, a printed circuit board such as this. This printed circuit board was made in-house here in school by me and it's quite basic. On one side here we're going to set, we're going to set the components onto the board and on the other side we see there are some tracks um, have been etched and some lettering to help us identify where things go and this one has had a component removed already so we see there is a little bit of residue a solder from the, the component I, I removed previously. I'm going to put a resistor across these two points here where it says 330 that's to remind me what value resistor to use. I'm going to do these two components first and a 330 ohm resistor looks like this. It has colour bands, orange, orange, brown, gold, three, three, and then one zero, and then it's a tolerance indicator, plus or minus five percent. Now, that's the only indicators that we have to tell us the value, and there is a, a code uh, card, but it's not something that's essential to remember. It's just one of those things you pick up over time. Now, we're gonna prepare our resistor to place it across these two holes and it's no accident that if we just bend the legs down at 90 degrees where they naturally want to bend it's going to form into this staple shape like this and the legs will be approximately the right distance for those two holes however we need to place it from this side okay and the first question that you should be asking is does it matter which way round it goes? Does it matter which way the colour bands go? And with the resistor it doesn't. It's not polarised, it has no positive and negative side. So we can place it either way round. But I, what I would say is place resistors the same way. So that if you start off with the gold band on the left, keep to that format and keep the gold band on the left for the next one otherwise it just looks untidy. Now I need to push that all the way down where it wants to go as far as it will go in. We see the, the, sits, the ceramic part of the resistor sits on the, on the board and we're going to hold it in place. Some videos will show you, show you to bend the legs over like this to hold it in place and whilst that works to hold it, it produces unsatisfactory solder joints in my opinion and I would much prefer if you were to Keep the legs pointing straight up in the air. To stop it moving whilst we're soldering, I'm going to use some masking tape. Just decorator's masking tape. It's made of paper, not some sort of plastic, so it won't melt and form a gooey mess when we heat up the resistor. So a little strip of masking tape stops it from moving. Just press that down firmly. And whilst the masking tape might singe slightly over time it won't catch fire so we can see now that our legs haven't been bent over in any way they're still pointing straight up in the air here and i'm going to revert to a piece of paper next to show you the next stage okay because it's many different ways of looking at this so i'm just going to swap to paper and draw now if i was to Show it this way we'd be looking edge on at the component okay so what I'm going to draw now is the board looking at it from the edge view like this so the PCB would be edge on and the leg of the resistor would be sticking straight up in the air and it's a through hole component so it goes through the hole there's the 90 degree bend and there's the body of the resistor on the underside held with tape. Okay, now I am going to bring in the, the, a pad of silver or copper pad around the bottom and I'm going to bring in my soldering iron from this direction. The soldering iron has been preheated and is very very hot and I'm going to place it down onto the pad and it's going to touch the leg of the component as well. So that is the iron. 
and the second part of the demo I'm going to bring solder wire in from this direction and I'm going to touch it onto the tip hot tip of the iron and melt a small amount of solder in to form a pool of liquid solder I'm going to push it onto the hot iron and a couple of millimetres of the wire will liquefy and form a pool around the base. Okay, that's the first stage. The second stage, once I've done that, I'm going to move my paper up. Second stage, and I just need to very quickly redraw, would be to remove the solder wire. This is essential. Take the solder wire away first. And you will have a kind of blob of solder, but do keep your tip of your iron into that solder. Keep iron in solder joint for three second count. Okay, that's just got our screen start. So keep the solder, soldering iron into the liquid solder for three seconds. No more, no less. And finally, I'm going to try and demo demonstrate this practically in a second. I want you to do this. I want you to draw your soldering iron tip up the leg as you remove it. Draw tip of iron Draw the tip of the leg, tip of the iron up the leg as you remove it. Now this will do something very important. It will encourage the solder joint to form a classical volcano shape where it's narrow at the top and broader at the base. Okay, A classic volcano shaped solder joint should be apparent once you've done that. Concave, broader at the base and narrow at the top. So that will give us our most effective soldering joint. Okay, let's have a look at that practically. So we have our components here. My soldering iron is nice and hot and I've cleaned the tip here by cleaning it on the damp towel in the base of the stand and just check it's melting solder immediately, it's perfectly hot. Now those fumes as you know they're not good for us so I recommend that rather than breathe them in that we gently exhale whilst we're soldering. Now to stop this moving around I'm going to use an extra piece of masking tape, always a good Good advice, if you haven't got three hands, then use a bit of masking tape to stop things moving around whilst we solder. Okay, so here's the demo now. So the hot tip of the iron goes down onto the pad and it's also touching the leg and introducing from the side a bit of solder I'm going to melt onto the tip a few millimetres, 1001 1002, 1003 and wipe up the leg. It's those three seconds that encourages the solder joint to flow effectively. Without it the solder joint can look right but it's considered to be cold and it hasn't made a good flow. I've cleaned the tip again, I'm going to do the second leg, melt in, remove, 1001, 1002, 1003 and then wipe up the leg encouraging 
a classic volcano shape to emerge. I'll have a look, see how successful I've been. A lot of tape now can be removed. And we see... Do we see? Yes, it's, it's, it's quite visible. We've got good solder joints. Now I can do a quick visual check. If I wobble that and it doesn't move at the bottom, it's got good adherence of the solder to the pad, it looks good to me. Now I'm going to use a tool now. I'll just show this in detail. This is called a wire cutter. Okay, and it's concave on the top and flat on the underside. So it's flat here and smooth, concave on the top, and I want you to use it with a flat side down and cut the leg at the top of the volcano. Snip it off. We're using these like a surgeon, not like a gardener. So one hand, please. And that is the first resistor complete. Okay, in the right place. Good volcano shaped solder joints. And I will do that one more time. So I form the resistor into a staple shape. Bend the legs down at 90 degrees. Naturally where they want to bend, don't force it any closer. Locate the position, turn over and slide the legs through the holes. I'm making a double check that my colour bands are in the same direction, which they are, just for neatness, because it won't affect the performance. You'll just be annoyed if they all go in different directions. Use a bit of masking tape to hold it in place. And I'm going to, a bit more masking tape to stop the PCB moving around. You can reuse masking tape. And finally, solder joint. Clean the tip of your iron, place it down onto the pad, introduce the solder wire from the side, melt in a small amount of solder, go for your three count, 1001, 1002, 1003, wipe up the leg. Perfect. Clean. thousand and one thousand and two thousand and three oh, I put the leg use my wire cutters to remove the excess leg at the top of the volcano remove any masking tape two solder joints done nice clean no more solder than is required very neat.